It was a year ago today that the nightmare started for this island. A massive Japanese bulk carrier ran aground on the reef on the southeast coast of the island. Aerial and satellite photos show the extent of the oil spill. Two weeks later, the ship began leaking oil and threatened this very sensitive environment. And I remember walking down into my ball and being absolutely heartbroken at the scenes of seeing this oil. The events that followed were completely unexpected. People had gathered like armies of ants and were literally making oil booms out of sugarcane. The amazing Mauritian people were literally clearing up the oil with their bare hands. I remember just being overwhelmed with emotion at the way that the Mauritian people came together so beautifully. These scenes were incredible, so inspirational, so passionate were these people about saving their coastline. So I felt that it was only right to come back here today, down to Point Disney. Yeah, I wanted to show you today what it looks like one year later. So how does it look? We've hooked up with some friends who are going to take us for a closer look at the Wakashio by boat. On the way out, you'll notice these buoys, which were set up during the rescue operation as a passage for the boats going to and from the stranded vessel. The aim was to minimize damage to the reef. That's what remains of the Wakashio just over there, the, the nightmare that was. Another new feature in the lagoon is this massive sandy bank which is formed as a result of the wreck. It's really shallow and I'm about to get wet. Woo! But the thing that intrigues me the most about coming back to this area is witnessing what it looks like under the water. I was lucky enough to have my friend Gérald Rombert send me some pictures that he took recently at this very spot. Do check out his fabulous dive book which has got some magnificent pictures of the underwater world right here in Mauritius. Next on my list to check out is the bird sanctuary called Ilo Zigret. This is a tiny island that operates as a nature reserve and a scientific research station. One can only enter this island with a guide as it's a sensitive marine area featuring many endemic plant and bird species as well as geckos. Amazing, look at these corals. Incredible, wonderful little ledges of coral, look at this. One can, however, bring one's boat here and walk around the beach. Wow, it's just beautiful here. I mean, look at the colour of the water. I think it's safe to say that Illusigrette has pulled through this unfortunate incident unscathed. This has been a wonderful discovery for me and I'll definitely be back here again next time. <laughs> or maybe we'll just hang here. Seems we're experiencing a few engine troubles. <laughs> and it wouldn't be quite right for me to come all the way to Point Disney and not show you this amazing restaurant. It's called Blue Bamboo. This eatery serves the most amazing thin crust pizza. Absolutely great stuff. I highly recommend coming and checking this place out. This restaurant is called Le Bamboo because of the bamboos. There are many of them. And what's my final verdict? So the good news is that this area seems to be perfectly clean. It looks absolutely wonderful. It looks like how I remember it years ago. So that is really great news. If you're in the Tamarin area, you undoubtedly would have noticed the Hongbang six and three cranes, which were called in to initiate the dismantling operation. For now though, it seems that the battered stern will remain on the reef here, and perhaps it'll become a permanent feature. I think we'll agree though that the beautiful blue water and white sand here are testament to the amazing work of all the heroes who banded together last year.
to all of those who selflessly helped, you will never be forgotten. So that's it from me for this week. A video for you about Quant Disney. How does it look one year on from the Wakashio disaster? I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.